Okay, let's look at this November 2016 question number eight. Once again, here are my formulas on the top. And uh, remember, I can't do the fraction thing, so I'm going to do the divide thing. Okay, so let's have a look here. 10 grams of an impure sample of sodium carbonate is added to 100 cubic centimeters of a 0,2 mole per cubic decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid. The acid is in excess, so this means the sodium carbonate is limiting. The equation for the reaction is sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid goes to sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. Balance the equation above. Okay, now if you do this wrong, everything else is going to be wrong, but this equation is really easy to balance. So the first thing I saw here is that there are two sodiums on this side and there's only one on that side. And the other thing I know is this carbon dioxide is going to break down, I mean this carbonate ion is going to break down into this carbon dioxide. So I'm not worried about the carbon carbonate ion yet, let me just sort out the sodium. So the first thing I do here is I go and I put a 2 there in front of the sodium chloride and now I have two sodiums on both sides, so those are satisfied. But now I've got two chlorines on this side, so I'm going to come back here and put a two over here to sort out my chlorines. So the two sodium chloride is matching these two sodiums and these two chlorines. Now let's check. I've got two hydrogens here. I've got two hydrogens here. I've got one carbon here. I've got one carbon here. I've got three oxygens and a one, two, three oxygen. So my equation is now balanced, we're sorted. Then it says to you, calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. So the hydrochloric acid is in a solution, so we're gonna use the solution formulas. Concentration equals number of moles over volume. If we rearrange this formula, we get N equals CV. So we go NHCl is equal to CV. So NHCl will be equal to, what was my concentration? 0 0.2 times, times uh, my volume. The volume was 100 cubic centimeters, which comes down to 0 0,1 cubic decimeters. So my number of moles of hydrochloric acid are going to be 0,02. Remember, have your calculator ready to check my mental arithmetic. Okay, so here's this final answer over here. Then it says to you, the excess acid, remember it said to you the acid is in excess. The excess acid neutralizes 20 cubic centimeters of a solution of one mole per cubic decimeter magnesium hydroxide. And here's the equation here. I just want you to know I looked at this equation and it wasn't balanced, so I've put this 2 in here to balance it. It came unbalanced from the department, so I fixed it. But it doesn't actually matter, this water doesn't actually matter, but I just couldn't bear the equation, wasn't balanced. So now it says to you, calculate the percentage purity of the sodium carbonate solution. And it's 8 marks, you are not going to find this in one step, okay? So the first step to do is to find out what you know. So it says to you the excess acid neutralizes 20 cubic centimeters of a solution of 0.1 molar magnesium hydroxide. This means the thing that we know that we are given is the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and find the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide. Okay, and now I realize there's no superscripts and subscripts here because we don't have all year to watch me insert them. Okay, so the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide is equal to CV. It's still a concentration reaction. So the concentration was 0, 0,1. And the, uh, what do you call that thing? The volume is 20 cubic centimeters. So in cubic decimeters, that's going to be 0, 0,02. So the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide is going to be 0, 0,002. Okay. So now we've found the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide. Yes, this is helpful. We've probably got two of the eight marks. But what we have to do is now take this balanced equation. And what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of moles of excess acid. Okay. So we can see that this magnesium hydroxide reacted with the excess acid.
So we're going to have a look at the mole ratio, okay, and it's the mole ratio of hydrochloric acid to magnesium hydroxide, okay, and from the balanced equation there are two hydrochloric acid to one magnesium hydroxide, which means we found the magnesium hydroxide. This is going to be, okay, look over here, I'm going to fill this in for you first. Over here, we found this. There were this many moles of magnesium hydroxide used up. So if my ratio is two is to one, we need to take this number and double it to find the value here. So this is going to be two times 0, 0,002, which is 0, 0,004, okay? So then this means the moles of HCl in excess is 0, 0,004, okay? The initial moles of HCl, and excuse the HCl getting the small c, the initial moles of HCl was this that we found, 0, 0, 0,02. So if we started, if we put this many in and this many were left over, how many did we use? The moles of HCl that are reacted. It's going to be what we had initially, 0, 0,02, and we're going to subtract 0, 0,004. So if you put this in your calculator, the moles of hydrochloric acid reacted is going to be, what's this, 0, 0,016 moles. Okay, so now we know way up here in this very first reaction, the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that reacted is this many, okay? Because we found how many were excess and we took them away from how many were added. So now what we have to do is we have to look at this reaction again and look at the mole ratio of sodium carbonate to hydrochloric acid because that's the only way we can find sodium carbonate because the only thing that we are given is the hydrochloric acid. So we use what we are given to find what we're looking for, and that's the sodium carbonate. So let's have a look here. The mole ratio now, now we're going to look at the mole ratio again, okay, of hydrochloric acid to sodium carbonate. Okay, look up here, let's check we've got the right coefficients. It's 2HCl, 2 one sodium carbonate, okay, and my HCl here, 0, 0,016, okay, and so if my ratio here, if you have a look here, if my ratio is 2 is to 1, this is the big number, this one's going to be the little number, it's going to be 0, 0,016 divided by 2, which is going to give you 0, 0,008, okay, okay, and it says to you to calculate the percentage purity. In order to calculate the percentage purity, you need the initial mass over the total mass, which means that we need to convert the moles to mass, okay? Sorry, I have to cough. <coughs> so let's go moles to mass. And if we look at our formulas, this is the moles to mass formula and we're trying to find the mass so the mass the mass of sodium carbonate is going to be equal to Nm okay that's the formula let's quickly work out what is the relative molecular mass for sodium carbonate Okay, we've got two sodiums, 23 plus 23, we've got a carbon, 12, and we've got 16, uh, three oxygens, which are 16, so if you put this in your calculator, you should get like 106, okay? So now the mass of sodium carbonate, to come back to this M equals NM, is going to be 0, 0,008 multiplied by 106 so the mass is going to be 8 comma wait no wrong wait let me do some calculator thing here 
0,848. It's going to be 0,848 grams. So that is how much sodium carbonate was actually used up. So to find the percentage purity, we are going to have to say what we had that reacted, 0,848, and it is over the initial mass, and in the question, the initial mass says there are 10 grams. So it's 0,848 divided by 10, multiplied by 100 to get it to a percentage. So it's going to be 8,48 times 10, uh, 8 times 10, so it's going to be 8,48% pure, pure. And that is your final answer.